Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be talking to you about why I decided to get the Canon 60 as my first professional camera. Just to preface, I originally got this camera because I wanted to just try it out, but this is around the time that I was starting freelance photo and video work, so I actually decided to, to hold on to it for a little longer. And when I started to really get to use the camera, I actually found it pretty difficult to replace because I felt like the camera had such a great value for the, the amount I was paying for it. And I got to use this camera for about eight months until I upgraded to what I'm using now is the Canon EOS R. But throughout those eight months, it was my go-to camera for any paid work. Now, there are a couple of main factors to why I actually kept this camera for a while longer than I actually intended to keep it. And one of those reasons is actually it just being a full-frame camera. It's a budget full-frame camera and, and now it's a little bit older in terms of uh, camera technology since it was released in 2012. But all around, if you're looking to get into a full frame camera and your budget isn't super large, um, this is a great way to get started because the main benefits of having a full frame camera is that larger sensor inside the camera and that allows you to get better low light performance, uh, which is really helpful for event photography or portraiture, low light photography, because you'll be able to use a lower ISO comparable to the crop sensor cameras. You'll be able to have a greater amount of flexibility in terms of your depth of field and background separation. And there's incredible compatibility with Canon's existing DSLR lenses, which is a huge plus. Another reason I really love the value of this camera is actually just the price. So the Canon 60, when I got my model, um, I actually purchased it secondhand and I got it for about $650. Um, Nowadays, I think you might be able to even get it for a little bit less depending on where you go to. For a camera that was released in 2012, I think that it's a great performer for the price you're actually paying. This is actually an incredible value for what you're able to get out of the camera. Next thing I'm gonna be talking about is actually the lenses. I briefly mentioned that a little bit earlier, but being a DSLR, there's an enormous collection of DSLR lenses that are suited for the system. And actually a lot of these lenses are affordable because they actually have been out for a little while now since the system has aged a little bit. But there's still amazing quality glass available for you to purchase uh, either in the store or secondhand, but overall, uh, most of these lenses you can get at a pretty affordable price and for the quality of glass you're going to be paying for I believe it's a worthwhile investment to look into just because uh, lenses tend to hold on to the value a lot better versus uh, something like the camera bodies they depreciate a little bit quicker when I actually started shooting with the Canon 6D I actually had a couple full frame lenses that I could use on the camera already um, I started off shooting with the 70 to 200 f4 is which i still have today and i really love that lens still um, and overall i got that lens i think for about 800 dollars um, for a 70 to 200 if you're looking to get uh, certain lenses on other newer systems such as sony's a7 camera series then similar lenses on that camera platform will actually be a lot more expensive uh, just because the system's a lot newer and there's less of them floating around. Lastly, I'm gonna be talking about build quality. Uh, I found that the Canon 60 has an incredible build quality because as a shooter coming from a crop sensor camera, you can really feel the difference of the build quality of a full frame camera that's weather sealed over something like a Canon Rebel or uh, one of the smaller mirrorless cameras. I found the build quality on the Canon 60 to be really robust. Um, I've taken it out on a lot of different shoots uh, when the weather was less than ideal for shooting and I didn't really have to worry about uh, getting my camera uh, destroyed from the rain or worry about it failing on me when I'm on site doing work. So overall, I actually really just love the handling of the camera and the robustness. So for this camera, I would recommend it for someone who is actually looking to get into more high-end professional photography work. Um, primarily for photo and not too much on the video side um, just because you get the flexibility of having a full frame camera and the ability to use uh, full frame lenses. So overall, I would just recommend this camera for someone who's looking to get more into photography work, um, maybe something a little bit more high end or professional just because the Canon 60 is capable of producing um, those quality images. And in addition to that, you have the flexibility of the lenses that are already existing in the system that are quite affordable, I would say 
compared to some of the newer systems, as well as having better low light performance is a huge plus for any budding photographer. But if you're looking to do hybrid shooting for photo and video or primarily looking to get into video, um, probably wouldn't recommend this camera just because even though it does do video, I've shot a couple videos on this in the past and I found that the files were pretty big so a little difficult to handle in post and the picture just was a little soft for my taste which of course you can sharpen in post but overall I wasn't too impressed with the video quality as well there's also no live autofocus in video and the camera maxes out at 1080p 30 frames per second so any any type of video work that you want to incorporate a little bit of slow motion you wouldn't be able to do that on this camera Anyways, thanks so much for watching today's video, guys. If you liked it, feel free to give me a thumbs up down below. If you're looking to get more into photography or video, I'm gonna be producing videos every single week talking about my experiences in getting started with freelance photography and video. So if that's something you might be interested in, then feel free to hit the subscribe button down below. Great, I'll see you guys next week. Ciao.